Qualifiers. You can access the Qualifier tab by clicking on this button next to Curves. You have three types of qualifiers in Resolve, HSL, RGB, and Luma qualifiers. The Qualifier window allows you to select specific color ranges in order to apply effects to this particular color range. Let's take a look at the Qualifier window. You have the Hue Controls, then Saturation, then Luma. On the right, you will find the blur controls with the HV ratio for the controls, the shrink controls, and the selection range controls. The difference between the three types of qualifiers is that the HSL qualifier qualifies the color range from the image based on a combination between U, saturation, and luma. And the RGB qualifier selects the color range based on color channels. So it will select based on a combination of red, green, and blue. The Luma qualifier will use only Luma to select the color range. So let's go ahead and select different color ranges in this image. I'm going to start with the HSL. Notice that we have these controls under the visual representation for Hue, Saturation, and Luma. I'm going to select the picker, move to the image, and click and drag over the color that I want to select. Notice how the selection here have changed. Based on the color I clicked on, Resolve picked a certain hue with a certain width, certain saturation level, and certain luma levels. In order to see my selection on the monitor, I have to come down here to the selection range and click highlight. Notice that Resolve now is showing me only the selected color. I have two controls down here, one to add and remove color ranges, and one to add and remove softness to a color range. So if I click the picker with the plus sign, and I'm going to come to the image and click on the areas that are not currently being selected. Click and drag, and now I just added new colors to the color selection. I can also remove color ranges by clicking on the picker with the minus sign, and click on the color that I want to remove. You can also click here to add softness to your selection, or remove softness from your selection. You can also use the manual controls here. So if I move the color center, notice that I'm changing the color that is being selected at the moment. I'm selecting green. I can also change the width of the colors that are being selected, and I can add softness. The same controls goes for saturation and luma. You can also add blur to your selection. So you're not blurring the image, you're just blurring the mask that is created for this color by coming down to the blur controls here and increasing the radius. Notice that the image is still sharp. We're adding blur here to the mask, not the image. You can also shrink or expand the mask by coming to the shrink controls here and increasing the radius or decreasing it. And finally, you can invert the mask. So now, instead of DaVinci selecting these colors, DaVinci will actually exclude these colors from the image by clicking on the Invert Mask button here. The RGB qualifier works exactly the same way. It just provides different results. To understand the difference between the RGB and the HSL, take a look at this image. I'm going to reset this grade. I'm going to pick the qualifier. Notice how the HSL and the RGB qualifiers will react differently when I try to pick this part of the image. I'm going to click here. Notice how, how it's changing. And now when I reach this point, when I clicked on this part, we actually chose this color. Let's repeat this with the RGB. I'm going to come back here and click. And notice that once I reach the side, the bright side, is going to select the rest of the image. That is because DaVinci is using different methods now to select the color range. And the Luma qualifier is actually the same as HSL qualifier, just with hue and saturation turned off. Notice that once I have this knot selected, I can simply go to nodes, add an outside knot. And now I have two nodes, one that controls this part of the image and the other controls the rest of the image which will become very handy later.